The drop shot is easily one of my favorite baits. You can just fish at all times of the year, everywhere you go, and catches gigantic smallmouth, largemouth, and even spotted bass. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, today on Local Boys Fishing, we're going to be talking about this trig right here. This is the drop shot. We're going to be showing where to fish it, how to fish it, and how to catch monsters, smallmouth, and largemouth. Before we start, I'm just going to give a big thanks to Landit Fishing for sponsoring us. We're going to talk more about this at the end. Now we're going to be showing you the baits that we catch fish on mostly, and the ones that we prefer. So, these are the baits that I like to fish with. Also, Jack. These are the KVD Perfect Plastics. These are the Dream Shots. These are in Watermelon Red Flake. I haven't tried this color yet, but all the colors work well. I had um, KVD Magic and green pumpkin before these are my trick shot sets made by z-man these are the twilight co color i believe oh yeah it says twilight right there um we also have never tried this these um baits the but color. We've, yeah we've tried the color some similar to it but hopefully these work too these finesse shad zeds are z's <laughs> Um, these, these are our favorite. They're this so good. This is just so good. I cannot describe to you how good these are and how I recommend you to get these. Um, they catch so many three pound smallmouth. It's insane. And we're just like shore fishing. If we had a boat, I don't know how good we would be, but yeah. what we usually fish with the meat dog color. Um, this is the shiner color. Yeah, I've never tried this. Never tried it before, but I would advise you to check these out. Okay, so I will be showing you what line to use now. My all-time favorite is six pound test fluoro, just on the nice little spinning, which we call spin gym. I personally like Seaguar, that's my opinion, but I know there's better things out there that you can afford, but that's just my personal thing of line. What about for braid? Braid, I'd like to go with the 10 pound test leader, usually. Suffix 832. Suffix 832 is best. Um, we, we're big fans of Shimano, as you know, so we might use like Power Pro or something like that. Well, Power Pro is I like it for heavy stuff. I like um, Suffolk State 32 because it's so thin for like drop shot and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But now we're going to show you the rods to fish these with. Okay, so for rods, I recommend, honestly, like there's so many rods you can use for a drop shot. The thing that I wouldn't go to is a light action or a heavy action. Just don't do that. Just go anywhere in between that. You'll probably be fine. You can get away with it. I recommend uh, seven foot spinning. I really like having really long rods, especially for shore fishing. You cast really far, get to those pockets with those big smallmouth. And this does catch largemouth too, so don't think it's an only smallmouth tactic. It is really good effective for big largemouth. Jacob caught his PB on the drop shot. Yeah. Five pound largey. Yeah, PB. Uh, hopefully we can get some pictures of that fish. How to tie the drop shot is you have your weight. I mean, your hook, not your weight at the top. So, yeah, just have your weight at the top. It's different than a lot of other rigs. You have the weight at the top and... Weight at the bottom, <laughs> sir. <laughs> okay, so I already tied on the hook here. I just didn't want to show that because... It takes a little while. Yeah, and a lot of time. So pretty much we just did the improved clench knot. Yeah, and have a long there. Hair. It's very simple. You know, I have... Um, you just have a long tag end, I should say. Yep. And clip on the weight. These ones aren't clip on. It's very frustrating. That's why I don't recommend these, but they're really cheap. That's why I bought them. So drop shot and how you rig the bait is very simple. If you're fishing around cover, um, don't do it like this. I'll show you the other way to do it after. That's how you just do it in open water, like the St. Lawrence and stuff like that. Just like that. You rig it around cover right there. But except there'd be no hook point exposed. I'd use a different kind of hook. Good Setting cover soft plastic is, is actually most the, likely um, trick shot Z. That's just what I like to do because it's a bulkier bait. Hey, this is not the five pounder that we were telling you about, but this is just some of the largemouth that we caught throughout the day. Here's my little largie, very small. All in the drop shot. All in the drop shot, another little small largie. But this is uh, my big brute five pounder, also on the drop shot. Very fun to get on the spinny. Yeah, I had to grab him. And started, Jack's fingers started bleeding. Definitely schooling up on some shad i'll also be showing you some other smallmouth that we catch usually on the drop shot this guy was caught on the drop, drop shot, shot right here um not a huge one two pounder yes that's pretty much all the baits that we fish drop shot the occasional ned rig when they're usually on it's their really beds hot. 
Yeah. We cast large ones that we caught at the St. Lawrence. Um, we were just casting out, out this little point. So you had your little grass beds. You caught them on your drop shot. Okay, so now I'm going to be showing you how to fish the drop shot. So there's many different ways. But what I like to do, well, there's a couple ways. So I'll cast out, pitch it out or something like that. And I'll just keep it in one spot. Just shake it just a little bit. And I like to keep my whole hand up here. And then this, the butt, into your arm. And then your point finger on the side. Better control. Also, you can fish it where you just cast pitch it out, same thing. And then shake it a little bit, move it like about two, three feet. Also, you can just slowly work it on the bottom. But I do want to say thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like the button, check out Land It Fishing. Um, but yep, yeah, just leave comments and everything. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.